again, when he has the ball and he's out there doing his thing, everybody else just caught standing. Victor, turnaround jumper is good over Terrence Mann. Well, well, once he gets that to come down with that rebound. The first had 20 second chance points in the first meeting against the Spurs. Four on the shot clock here. It's a tough jumper along the baseline for Norm Powell. Unbelievable. Harden gets Victor off his feet. And James Harden with a little bit of a tutelage right there in the low post. To return to Victor. Back to Zach up with the right hand for two. Excellent. Recognition there from the big fella. The box out, two box there. We'll bring it back into the front court. Skip pass to Champetti. Corner pocket three. Got it. Terrence Mann comes away with the steal. They're number one in the NBA and steals the only team in the league averaging 10 a game. Paul George open three, and that one finally drops. Yeah, well, they have outstanding defenders, and you see how the defense is on the floor. You've got to be very careful of your passes. Victor falling away, able to get it to drop. There you go. And Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi's not the easiest guy to penetrate on. He's a, a physical defender as well. And Kawhi hits the corner three on this side. He's 40 against Memphis on Saturday. Inside, Evitsa Zubac makes no mistake about that one. Boy, he's a great fan. That was a tough one, though, where you have to fall fake, then get set again and let it fly. Nine for his last 16 before that. Paul George, 39% this season, drops it in. Westbrook was way short on that one. Sohan over Zubac. Bassi on the offensive glass. Trey Jones, Trey for Trey. Right. Trey, 88% from the line, sinks them both. Spurs back to within a couple. Harden splits the defense. Spots Kawhi's had a lot of open threes in this first quarter, and he hits yet another. Kawhi's two for four from outside. They're three for nine for the game so far. Tice inside. Chetty Osmond a little late getting over on the help. Harden of the double team comes, whips it to Tice. The bounce pass underneath in the flush from Russell Westbrook. Yeah, and another phenomenal defender. Three seconds left in the quarter. Chetty Osmond gets to his spot, knocks yeah. it in off the glass. Westbrook met by Trey. Backs his way in. Boy, he uses, yeah. even at his Westbrook. size, that post up so Trey Jones trying to stabilize things out there for the Spurs. Slips it back to Malachi, and Malachi hits the strings. He does a great job rotating up his pitcher. Out of the timeout, trailing by five, 37-32. Westbrook going at Jeff Penny underneath, lays it up and in. It's a big part of the Spurs here going forward. And now comes away with a steal. It's just made it a bounce pass. Victor running the floor, underneath Paul George for two! <laughs> I like this zone right here, too. Our guys can just do a good job of playing an area. That was too easy. Victor tried to go underneath the top of the screen. I didn't like that. The Raptors right here at the Frost Bank Center in 2014. Let's kick it back over to the one of the more youthful broadcast tandems in the NBA. That's Dan Weiss and Sean Elliott. Tice, not uh, afraid can, to shoot from out uh, there. Yeah, he can shoot that. In. Zubats powering his way and blocked by the combination of Sohan and Bassey. Kelvin in transition. Euro steps his way into the cup Ooh, and lays it up and in. That was nasty. Four and a half to play until halftime. McDermott to the corner. Extra pass. Kelvin trying to shake loose. In the paint. Pull up jumper. Got it. Kawhi gets Jeremy oh, off it. his feet. We've seen that enough tonight. Two, two, our guys go for too many ball fakes. And then it creates a, a disadvantage. Makes number 19 and 20 on the season to pull the Spurs to win the game. But I'm telling you, it has been a massive transformation of the line for Jeremy. And Kawhi Leonard. I can see Victor gets Zubat here in the low blocker out on the wing. Chetty for three. Got it! Chetty hits the strings! Fresh 14, Paul George. They're missing a lot of open threes here in this first half. And then Leonard just takes it away from Keldon and throws it back down. Keldon down to four. Gonna have to make something out of nothing here. And, well, Keldon makes oh, it. And it's never too early to start thawing your turkey. No, or I, is yeah, it? I heard, <laughs> yeah, well, I heard our director of broadcast and Mike Hickorilla starts about a week early. Harden as the double team comes. Kawhi. Jeremy off his feet momentarily and creates the space and knocks down the baseline. But again, jumper. the ball fake gives him the advantage. 
Oh. They say just throw it up there. Sohan, oh, no. Kelvin, put back for two. Kawhi, underneath Kelvin. Nice pass. Zubats the reverse oh, slam. Spectacular. Four to shoot. Victor with a help defense. Harden for three. That's a killer. Good defensive possession for the Spurs, and Harden drains a three at the buzzer. But if you bring it down, and you're bringing it down to six foot two, it's yeah, all of a sudden you're you're not seven foot four anymore. And an and one for Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, and if you're going to foul him, you've got to wrap him up. Coming to this league, and they haven't done enough work on their game. So you have the same jumper five or six, ten years later that you had as a rookie. Oh, Chetty Osmond getting fancy for two. I had all. Kelvin tonight is 0-4 from downtown. Chetty Osmond has matched his season high. Paul George will bring about a timeout. Wemby. Want to work on Tice. Step back jumper is good. Westbrook in the paint. Blocked by Wemby. Second block of the night. Osmond behind his back again. Chetty lays it up for two more. Basket in the foul. It over to Trey Jones up top for victory. Well, there might be the only one yeah. if he doesn't catch up there. And then Norm Powell transition through. And Kawhi with a three pointer. For that foul gives the Spurs the last possession if they so choose. Trey Jones from Victor able to spin it home. Well, the Clippers have done a great job just getting physical and rooting them out of the paint area. Paul George off the inbound for two. Tice a little ball fake. Paul George finds his spot. Pushes the lead to 18. Westbrook. George for three. Yeah, I mean, those guys... Under nine to play. Westbrook, nice find. Tice, thunderous dunk. All right, that's why he was calling for that lob in the open court. A couple back to back, so we'll see if that continues. Right. But if these guys are available and on the floor every night, forget about the offense. They're a top five defense right off the no, no question. That offensive, oh, that's easy. But you see that? They're not struggling on the offensive end of the floor. They see a guy out of position, the pass is made. They've taken advantage of every opportunity. Keldon, finally. Paul George. World class. Tice. That nice performance tonight yes. for Daniel Tice. Yeah, he won't be there for the post turkey Day game against our guys. Westbrook lays it up and in. A little too strong. We'll get another crack at it. Again, Doug misfiring on the three. All three Clippers went for the ball, and Calvin Johnson explodes <laughs> on the rebound try. Oh, yeah, some of the most ferocious dunks I've seen. Clippers keep it off the turnover, and Tice makes no mistake about that one. He went out there every single night, regardless. Sissoko, oh! Going for what would have been his first two NBA points. Unable to finish the alley-oop, and that'll do it here tonight as the Spurs fall 124-99.